sitä tuon. Olisiko kananmuotti? Minä olen. Mikä se oli hänen? So, this is my latest thing uh, and the reason for this is that I noticed that, uh, that I, had, I had kind of declines when I did not do anything active. So what I did is uh, my, or this has brewed in my mind for a while, uh, is I was thinking about a training bike here at home and what do you call it but just the idea somehow didn't uh, didn't feel right because I've rolled them at hotels and stuff like that and at gyms and I just don't get the feel for them I know that you can maybe adjust them as you want but what I did know that the bikes that I ride already, they're already adjusted and they're as they're supposed to be. It is called a Flux Smart. It's basically uh, a training or let's see what it says on the box so that I don't misspeak. Realistic di direct drive, an interactive smart trainer featuring an ele electro brake. So basically what it does is it makes, makes it feel like you're riding even though you're indoors and it's on a stand, the bike. The funny thing is other people buy this to train and exercise and I think that's what it's meant for. But I just maintain, I just buy it to maintain my ability to walk so power cord set up for the thing a new axle if the previous one or the current one doesn't work no actually I think I'll yeah I'm, I think I'm gonna leave the axle on the rim that it has and then use our axle on this one manual which I will be reading what do you call it I've got two sets of uh, cassette for the back wheel I'm going to count the ones that I have in place so this is the proper or the correct le uh, gear changer which is a Ultegra and then I just need to switch this one these two I need to have I'll return the one that doesn't work this one I kind of wanted because I wanted something to follow you can have apps on this follow the thing but, but this I must admit I was a bit of a victim of salesmanship uh, and well it's a mat for going under the thing Let's see how that goes. I tried to do this yesterday by myself and uh, I got the back <clears throat> cassette on except I did not have the tool to tighten it up. So what I did, I drove up to uh, the store that I bought this and I asked them to uh, attach the back set on it. And now it's, and I looked at the tools that they had, I would have no chance of putting it on. I mean, technically, yes, but I was just missing the tools to do it. So, so basically, now it's been tightened on and I'll continue with the installation. So, 
that's it there. And now for the actual installation. You see it's, it's hooked up nicely. And this is the bit that, that they attach to it that tightens the whole the thing up there. I I could have couldn't have gotten it to work. my bike on it. Now, let's go get the bike. Feels fairly sturdy. My hands are a bit dirty. My chains are horribly, and this bike is horribly dirty. I maybe need uh, better boy going clean it. So now I'll give it a couple test spins and then I'll install all the apps and stuff like that. My getting on the bike has become, it, it has a realistic feel to it. The only thing that, the, the topmost gear, it kind of doesn't work or it bounces off it but then huh. we shall give it a go the whole idea is to is to get my heart racing and that I believe I can do with this one so yeah, I took the bike into the shower after I noticed it was horribly dirty and I hooked it up. I actually put my diaper pants on and I gave it a short, short spin and it worked all right. Uh, and definitely I'm going to get a good workout with it. The only problem is now it's under the stairs and I can do it sitting down. If I stand up, my head's going to be hitting the stairs. So maybe when I exercise, I'll pull the mat out. And then when uh, I'm not exercising, then I'll pull the mat in uh, further under the thing. Went to Lux. Today, I took a video on my mobile phone. I'll see if I can get it to work. But previous, uh, or the, when I checked it, it had no sound on it and the image quality was quite poor. So, I need to check what the status of that is. It's freezing, or it, I didn't have my gloves, that's why I, I was cold. Uh, and then uh, it was tremendously windy. It's actually a bit of, I flew my drone, oh yeah that's what happened when I flew my drone. I went uh, near Klubi, there's a dead end street where you can, when you're sitting in your car you can park it for a minute. And I took out the drone because it's a dead end, not, there's not much traffic there. So I thought that I'd get the best GPS signal in the middle of the road. I set it up there and then it said something like GPS no positioning or something like that and I first I thought oh, I don't dare lift off here but then I thought that, yeah I'm, I'm gonna go and buzzed up and then when I was trying to land it it was absolutely impossible it was horrible trying to land the thing uh, it was just going side to side and I didn't quite see it. The only way that I could actually land it, I was pointed the camera directly down and then I 
navigated using the camera because my vision was impaired. The, I noticed that the lights on the Mavic during night, they, they're not tremendously strong. Uh, but yeah, the problem is when I came down, I was about my head's height because uh, first I was trying to run into a wall so I backed it out of the wall uh, and then it kind of went back and forth and on one of the occasions it came like horribly close to me and then I decided now all down let's land it and you know or Mavic does this when it lands it stops at about half a meter before it lands properly and then it it's supposed to hover there for like a couple of seconds and then drop down. Uh, but what it did now, it just stopped the descent and then it, mm, and it flew into a window. And the result of it running into the window is the blades look a li little tattered. But here, see, one of them is broken. I trust that it's still operable. I didn't see anything else going wrong, wrong with it. And I was even tempted to fly with that broken blade. I didn't bring my extra blades with me. And I was supposed to picture or take video of the uh, illuminated houses uh, in Helsinki. But no, well, I got the one, but that, that wasn't anything close up. But anyway, uh, as always, I'll end up by saying that Jesus Christ is yours and my Lord and Savior. King. Amen. Amen.